So I, I've noticed. So I watched a, a stream the other night, and it was EVS, and it, that stream was it was there was a lot of people on that stream, and Bumping. I'm watching this weird thing happen where indie comics are like there's this infighting, like destroying each other thing. How did EVS even get involved in this? Well, that's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the long and short of it is, um, again, guys, you have to realize that uh, creators have, you know, we have our communications out on streams or whatever, but uh, people talk and gossip. We're all a bunch of bitches, all right? Like we're we're talking behind the scenes all the time and uh, and words spread around. That's when you find out about things like uh, that are at issue here. Again, I'm not going to repeat this shit. It's not really necessary. Ethan got um, what he calls a quote unquote night letter from Eric um, a couple months ago. And that uh, what a night letter is, is it's a, it's an implied threat. Like, look, uh, you can, you know, if this thing keeps going this way, then well, nice channel you got there. Be a shame if someone shit all over it or be a shame if a bunch of people turned against you type stuff was how Ethan took it. Uh, other people don't read it that way. I read it that way. Uh, a, a thousand percent. Um, Real quick, this is my alt channel, and my main channel is in danger every day of getting banned as a result of talking with these amazing people very candidly. So please do me a favor and subscribe down below. Helps me out a lot. Get the hell on it, doggone it. Uh, again, it's it's one of the things I think was a big misstep. And, um, uh, you know, I, I think, uh, and then he described a phone call that followed. And in that phone call, he alleges, we, we can't know because it's a phone call. He alleges that Eric said, yeah, you're not as important to indie comics as you think, or something along those lines, which I think is a very bold statement to make about Ethan Van Skyver, who's kind of really built Comicsgate as an independent comics vehicle quite a bit. Now, Eric has the campaigns that have done the biggest numbers. I, I That is true. Yeah. And I think, I think that maybe, maybe has caused a conflict of ego amongst those two individuals. I don't sell comics, so... You know, I don't really care who's got the biggest selling comic or whatever. But uh, I, I think that was involved there. And, and I think what you had was um, Ethan not acquiescing to a desire for some sort of loyalty. Because as, as hard as this is for people to hear, I, I really don't think that Ethan doesn't like Dick Masterson. In fact, I think he likes him. He's been on his show. Uh, he's talked to him before. And... Um, you know, so that sort of thing is it probably put him in a similar place to me. Like, I don't want to mess around with any of this stuff, but also I'm not going to come out and condemn people. And he said on that stream, he, he really didn't want to get involved because he has direct sales overlap with Eric, right? Buyers of books are buyers of books and both of those audiences. I don't sell books. For me, it's entirely viewers and super chats and all that stuff, which is a completely different world. But Ethan, his bread and butter is selling Cyberfrog. And ISOM buyers buy Cyberfrog, Cyberfrog buyers buy ISOM in some numbers. And so he kind of was like, uh, uh, you make a business decision. You don't want to, you don't want to get into it. But apparently uh, there are now two specific people on the internet who have alleged that not getting into it was a sign of not taking the correct side. And it meant mm -hmm. that you were taking the other side. Uh, I don't know who the other person is on that, but um, you know, they stated it pretty fucking clearly and uh, so now Ethan, Ethan has come out with that same exact sort of indication. And um, it was a pretty fucking bombshell stream uh, from Ethan, actually. Like the, yeah, well, the he showed it. So he showed a text message or something, right? That was weirdly yeah. veiled in threat. It was like a, a yeah, that's what threat that's thing. what I was talking about with the, the night letter. Yeah, it, it could be taken to read. There are a bunch of people who are pissed at you. I've been holding them back, but you don't seem to be on my side. So if you're not, maybe I'll just let them go. That was the implication from EVS. I'm paraphrasing what he said. I'm not trying to put words into the, the fucking text. You can go read it on the, uh, the all caps comics, uh, Twitter account. Um, the, the, the letters there and you can watch that stream and determine for yourself. I'm just trying to provide a helpful summary for people. I'm not making value judgments, but it kind of looked like, uh, Ethan was just a little too neutral, which is the exact same sentiment that I received, uh, was informed about long before I received it. But, um, yeah, dude, all the only, I watch EBS a lot. I love Ethan. I mean, I've had him on a show before a couple of times. He's a great dude. Um, and 
I don't know anything about, you know, this conflict other than I've heard Ethan say, you know, we should be open to criticism because criticism is what makes our books better. And yep. somehow that put him on the other side of everything. And it's weird to me. Um, I feel like that's a kind of a reasonable thing to say. Right. Yeah, I think so. Weird. Like, I mean, that, I would, I'm open to criticism. I look at comments sometimes and it's like, Hey, your intro is too long. I'd be like, all right, well, I'll shorten that up a little bit and see how people respond. It doesn't really bother me. I don't like, like tell them that they're, you could just, you could just read a criticism, go eh, fucking stupid and that, and move on. Like, it's fine. Yeah. Um, the, the reaction to the criticism was not great. Yeah. I mean, when my editor tells me, gives me like constructive criticism, I just tell him who has the following. Yeah. I just, yeah. Call him, call him <laughs> Always remind an editor who run, whose name is on the checks. Like when it's yours and we'll talk. God, those sons of bitches always think they run everything. Anyways, 